Hello, veteran 021 here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Drag... Dragon Quest? <laughs> oh no, this is Final Fantasy VI. Wow, I almost said uh, Dragon Quest there, but no, this is not Dragon Quest. What the hell is this place? Weird smell, huh? Let's check it out. Oh. Really? This tea, it was his favorite. And we get a potion. Apparently he liked potions too. And yeah, this hut is a free bed. So yeah, don't bother sleeping at the inn in South Figaro, you can just come here and sleep for free. So yeah, pretty interesting, huh? Somebody, uh... Oh, I guess we can sleep in any of the beds. You know what? I never actually tried doing that before until now. <laughs> but you can use any of the beds if you want. So there you go. Sabin, huh? Left well, a couple of days ago, as soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed, headed up into the mountains. They say Duncan's son Vargas is missing too. I don't like it one bit. Hmm. Trouble maybe, huh? All right, well, let's go check it out. This guy again. See how much more damage I can do against this guy now that I have the Hyper Wrist equipped. Not much more. Well, a little bit more, I guess. It's not a complete waste. Yay. Alright, welcome to Mount Colts. I like the mountain music for this game. Really good. Alright, we have a new enemy here. This guy is a Zagram. I believe we can steal Mithril Knives from this guy, or something along those lines. I think. Yeah, unfortunately these guys probably won't stay confused for very long. But yeah, you gotta get pretty lucky in order to actually steal from these bastards, so... I'm not gonna lose sleep over it too much, but as I run into them, I will try to steal. I, I, again, I can't remember exactly what it is. I'm gonna find out right after this battle, because I'm just gonna look at the bestiary. That way I don't have to sit here and try to remember what the hell they actually carry. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to the uh, bestiary here. And apparently I could show some of this other stuff. Yeah, these enemies right here are pretty vanilla. Be against ice and water. Yeah, most of them just carry potions. Potions, weak against fire. Not really much to say about them. Ooh, this one you can steal a remedy. I'm guessing the first item there is the rare steel, because I noticed what they steal is they show the rare item before they show the common item. And I'm thinking a remedy would be more valuable than a potion, so I guess they, they list the rare steel first before they list the common steel. Alright. What else we got here? Ooh, go back. Go back. Oh, look at that, you can steal Mithril Claws from that guy. That's a rare steal, then. 
Yeah, this guy absorbs lightning, obviously, and he's immune to petrify, slow, and stop. Okay. Good to know. It's also good to know the status ailments for a certain character later on that likes to use monsters to attack with, or monster... A bandana. Okay, you can steal bandanas from those guys. Yeah, there's a certain character that uh, uses monster attacks to attack the enemies, and if you know uh, the particular enemy's status resistances, you can also use that to your advantage in battle. So, I'll try to take advantage of that if I can. Chest down this way. Oh, I can't remember. I haven't played this game in a while. We have some new enemies here. We have Serpius. I believe you can steal antidotes from these guys. And I guess we won't find out unless I look at the bestiary. Okay. Dead end it is. Down here we can get a main gauche, which is not a very good weapon. I mean, it's better than what Locke has right now. But, uh... Basically, the gimmick of this weapon is uh, it, it adds a 10% uh, percentage to your evasion. So yeah, not only does it increase your speed, as you can see there, it increases its speed by 4, but also gives you 10% uh, evade, which is pretty good. So not a bad weapon for defense. For attack, I think it's wind elemental. Matter of fact, why don't I just sort this crap? And then, how do we... How do we look at item information? Yeah, because you used to be able to... How do you do that? Do they not let you do that in this? Yeah, you used to be able to, like, double tap or, or, or double click on an item. And you can actually see, like, the uh, advanced information about it, whether it taught you a spell, uh, you know, other information like that. But apparently, you can't do that in this version of the game. Hmm. Unless uh, you got to do it some other way, and I'm not even sure how the hell you would do it. Yeah, these guys again. Try and steal. Steal, damn it. Yeah, bandanas, they're kind of tough to get. Try one more time here. Okay, not worth it. Let's go. Potions. And I don't think it's over. Th it might be over this way. Yeah, it is over this way. Yeah, there's kind of a secret passage over this way. This is another one of those that I didn't actually learn until a few years ago. Should kill one of them with that. Yeah, this is a back tech. Yeah, I'm thinking it's an extra 50% uh, when you use, uh, when you hit an enemy from the back row or from behind. Another thing I need to mention about the hyper wrist that I got in the last episode it raises your strength by 50%. So that is the exact percentage that it raises your uh, your strength stat. So it's pretty good. Not bad. 
All right, and in this chest we get the Gigas Glove, which also raises attack. I'm gonna give that to Edgar. Yeah, it, it says it boosts the wear's physical attack power, however it doesn't raise your strength. I'm gonna have to look this up. I will be right back. Alright, hopefully I can explain this without confusing people. Basically, the difference between the Gigas Glove and the Hyper Wrist is this. The Hyper Wrist increases your strength stat, which is your strength stat. And basically what the Gigas Glove does is it takes the physical damage that you inflict with the weapon you have and the strength and all that stuff, and it just boosts that flat damage by 25%. And that's all the Gigas Club really does. But it'll definitely help out Edgar because uh, his tools, namely Auto Crossbow, is physical based. And we have some new enemies here Gorgias. And you can steal potions. Hopefully, this kills them. You know, I was hoping that would damage would be raised enough to where, you know, they could like one-shot these guys, but no, of course not. It still takes two of these damn auto crossbows to kill them. And if you have plenty of potions at this time, if you've been stealing with Locke, you probably have Eh, a fair amount of potions, so yeah, go ahead and use them. You know, keep Terra's MP around for emergencies, and, and that's it. Hey, all right, after that last battle, I actually stole a bandana. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often, but if you can steal one, it is better. So, there you go. I'll give it the lock, I guess. In this chest, we get a tent. That'll be useful later. Cloudy up here. Yeah, I'll show this one. Still gotta see what those guys carry. Again, I believe it's, um, I believe they have antidotes you can steal. Well, yeah, we're not gonna find out. Yeah, those, those are spears in action. As you can see, physical attacks are not very good. And they aren't very good in this game. I mean, you, you can make them powerful later on in the game, but physical attacks in this game are not very good. Unless you can build up that character's strength later on. Or you have uh, weapons that ignore defense, then physical attacks are good. But not too many characters in this game actually excel at physical attacks. Need certain weapons. Need the right amount of strength. And all that kind of thing. Yeah, you can steal antidotes. I thought so. 
I wasn't 100% sure, but I was pretty sure. Alright, here's a save point. So at these wonderful save points, uh, at this point, if you had a sleeping bag, which I do, you can go ahead and use a sleeping bag. And, well, I probably should have healed up before using the sleeping bag, but whatever, I'll just use one of my potions on lock there. That'll be fine. And, uh, you know what? Hold on a minute. Alright, yeah, I might as well end the episode here, but before I end it, we're gonna look at the best here and see if we can look at any new stuff, like this guy. But is rare steel a potion? It's not really a valuable rare steel. It's pretty shitty rare steel. Immune to imp status. I'm learning all kinds of stuff with this nice bestiary. I like it. Yeah, these guys here. Rare steel high potion drops gold needle. And that's it. Anything else? I guess that's it. Yeah, I don't think there were anything new. Besides that, did I miss something? Just want to double check. No, that looks to be it. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy VI. In the next episode, we're going to continue our journey through Mount Colts to try and find... Edgar's brother, Sabin. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.